Welcome to a lesson on implications and truth conditions for implications. An implication or conditional is the molecular statement of the form, if P then Q, where P and Q are the statements, and we say that P is the hypothesis or antecedent, and Q is the conclusion or consequent. An implication is true provided that P is false, or Q is true, or both are true, and false otherwise which means the only way if P then Q is false is if for P to be true and Q to be false. Otherwise, the implication is true. Let's take a look at some examples. First, let's let P, the hypothesis, be the statement A and B are the legs of a right triangle with hypotenuse C. And let's let Q, the conclusion, be the statement A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The implication if P then Q is if A and B are the legs of a right triangle with hypotenuse C, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared, which we should recognize to be a true statement. Also notice the converse if Q then P, which is if A squared plus B squared equals C squared, then A and B are the legs of a right triangle with hypotenuse C is also true, and therefore it follows P if and only if Q. Next, let's let P, the hypothesis, be the statement there are 13 months in each year, and let's let Q, the conclusion, be the statement one plus one equals three. The implication if P then Q is if there are 13 months in each year, then one plus one equals three. Notice here, the hypothesis, or P, is false, and so is Q, the conclusion, and therefore the implication is true. Remember, the only way an implication is false is if P is true and Q is false. And then for our third example, let's let P, the hypothesis, be the statement one equals one, and let's let Q, the conclusion, be the statement zero equals one. The implication if P then Q is if one equals one, then zero equals one. This statement is false, again, because P is true and Q is false. It is important to understand the conditions under which an implication is true, not only to decide whether a mathematical statement is true, but in order to prove that it is. Proofs might seem scary, but all we are really doing is explaining very carefully why a statement is true. If you understand the truth conditions for an implication, you already have the outline for a proof. To prove an implication if P then Q, it is enough to assume P and from it deduce Q. As an example, Let's prove if a number a is even, then a squared is even. For the proof, a number is even if two is a factor of the number. Since it is given that a is even, then a is in the form of two times k, where k is some integer. Thus we have a squared equals the square of two k, which is equal to four k squared, which can be written as two times two k squared. Since two is a factor of a squared, then it follows that a squared is even, and we often conclude a proof with QED. QED usually stands for a Latin phrase, which translates to, which was to be demonstrated. I hope you found this helpful.